Hi, it's Corrine, and today I am working in a new Smashbook. I'm using the large red Kane Company Smashbook, and it's the pocket style Smashbook. And I had a sweet lady gift it to me, and I'm so glad she did because I don't think I would have purchased this on my own, but I absolutely love it. It's so much fun to work out of. So I chose which page I wanted to work on, and now I'm trying to decide which paper pad I want to use. I'm deciding between the Heidi Swap paper and the Craftsmith blush glam paper and I went ahead and chose the Heidi Swap. Um, I chose that polka dot and then right away changed my mind to this teal paper which is absolutely beautiful. So that gold stripe is from the Craftsmith paper and I wanted to work it in there but I ended up not using it but I do love that paper. So here I'm just kind of eyeballing where I want to cut it. Taking a little bit more off. And I did pre-plan a, a few of my items that I printed out, like my photos and a journaling card and a few other items. So I'm just measuring my photos. I printed those out to be three by four, and I also printed out a journaling card to be three by four, but I wanted it to flip up. So this white cardstock, I'm cutting to three by eight, scoring it in half, and that will my journaling card will sit on top of that, and I can add my journaling to the inside. So I'm going to add a basic gray magnet here before I adhere that down. This way it will stay closed um, when flipping through the pages. I don't have to worry about it flipping open. So I'm just taking off the adhesive backing, adding that underneath my journaling card, and then I will place down my journaling card. This way it hides the magnet. So again, um, my photos are three by four. I'm going to add a white background to the back of it. And I wasn't sure how much of a border I wanted to give myself. So I started out um, at one size, but I do cut it down a little bit. And I end up cutting it to six and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Here's where I trim it down to six and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And then I'm going to add my three photos in my journaling card, trying to leave the same amount of border in between each photo. So I'm just using my ATG and adhering those down. That photo on the bottom right is a photo of my sister and her husband. They um, took us out to lunch for my birthday at a place in Vegas that we've never been to called the Yard House and it was really good. We had a really good day. We went shopping at Hobby Lobby and it was just a really fun day. So I ended up trimming off a little bit more on that side, probably about an eighth inch because it was just a little bit more white border on the right than there was on the left. And here I decided I didn't want that paper to be as long. So I cut that down and I was much happier with it. I'm marking with a pencil where my pictures will lie and I'm cutting out the center of this paper because I love this paper. And being that you won't see it, I figured I would cut it out and that way I can save that for another project because that's a pretty large piece that I can save. I wanted to back that again with a white border to tie it in the same as my photos. So I'm just going to eyeball that and cut that cardstock down. So once I was happy with that, I'm going to add my ATG and adhere that to my white cardstock. And that leaves just the tiniest border, just like my photos. And now I'll adhere that down. Again, I'm still trying to work in that gold stripe paper. This birthday, I wanted a large title for my page. And this birthday, I cut out from the cameo. I added a strip to the bottom of it so it would sit under my photos. But I didn't want it sitting under my photos. Therefore, I cut out three of them. And I will stack, which you'll see here in a moment, I cut out three of them to stack on top of each other. That way it sits flush with my photo and I was really happy with that. So I'm just going to use some Scotch Quick Dry and adhere down three layers of it, two more layers of the word birthday, but the day I wanted it to stand out a little bit more. Therefore, I colored it in with my eyedropper tool to match some writing that you'll see on my journaling card. I'll show you up close in just a moment here. And I do plan to do a separate silhouette tutorial on the few things that I did on this page in case you're interested in learning how to do that. I will have a separate silhouette tutorial coming up showing that. 
So here's the day and I'm going to hold it up close so you can see I pulled the same color from those birthday words on the journaling card that I made to um, for the word day as well. That way everything ties in perfectly and you'll see that in a few other things. Um, as example, this word happy here, I use the same pink as well. And also before I put down my journaling card, I added the other piece of the magnet to the back before placing it down on my paper. So again, I'm adding three layers of this, but the first layer of the white cardstock, I'm offsetting it. So you see the shadow of the white. I loved how that turned out. Now I'm adding another later layer just to give it stability, but I'm hiding that behind the other layer of white. So I loved how that word turned out. I'll add that there on the bottom. And this little cake also came from a cameo cut. I'll list these down in the description box, all the cameo cuts I used in case you, you're interested in them. Check the description box. So I'm just laying everything out, deciding where I want it. And I decided I wanted another piece of paper. So I'm looking through that same um, car, uh, pattern paper and I came across this polka dot paper and I love it. I think it's perfect for behind it, but you'll also see me get a black, it, it, it blended a little too much behind my photos. So I get another black piece of paper to mat behind my photos. And again, just eyeballing this, just deciding how much of the page I wanted it to take up. And here's where I pull out this black. You may not be able to pick up on it on camera, but it has arrows on it. It's a really pretty paper. So I'm going to map that behind my mat. I'm not going to worry about the birth, the word birthday. I'm just going to cut it to be to go as a mat behind my photo mat. And now for both the polka dot and the black one, I'm going to cut the centers out as well so I can save those for other projects. I don't usually bother doing that if it's just a paper, you know, that I like but I don't love. But I really love this paper and it was kind of a lot, so I did not want to waste it. So I'm just adhering all my layers down now with ATG. I purposely let a little of that pink that came on the Smashbook paper stand out a little down in the bottom right. And I love the border that that page had. So I made sure to, to retain the border as well because it tied in with that pink that I'm using. These little gift tags, my sister gave me the most beautiful blanket scarf. Um, so I wanted to incorporate the gift tags in it. I'm freezing all the time, so it was a perfect gift for me. And it's absolutely beautiful. And now I'm at, uh, attaching my borders, just using a little bit more glue. or I should say my banners, not my borders. That little label says, bring on the cake. And I do add that little cake inside the um, journaling card. It would have been much easier to add my journaling before I adhered it down. Although I knew that at the time I decided to just go ahead and adhere it and worry about the journaling later. I just added a piece of chipboard behind it to do my journaling and it turned out okay I was happy with it added the date and now that magnet will keep it closed for this arrow strip I wanted to add an Allie Edwards stamp so I printed out the the digital stamp it says favorite story I put some ATG behind this arrow and now you keep seeing me hold it up I have a light behind my desk so I'm using the light to see if I can get the arrow exactly where I want. And once I'm happy with it, I send that back through my printer and now it printed on my arrow. And again, it says favorite story. So I'm adding a little more tape to the back. I thought it was a little too long, so I cut it down and then attach that at the top. And these little hearts come from the same banners that you see up at the top. It's a 
digital cut file that I got from the Silhouette online store. So I'm just adding some of the hearts around the page. And then I'm also going to add a few enamel dots. And that's really all there was to it. This was so much fun to do, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if so. I will have all my social media links in the description box as well. So please come find me on Facebook and Instagram and so on. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.